What's up? Magnus here. As always, thank you for watching my channel. Hit that like and subscribe. I like to talk about cameras, mirrorless cameras for videos specifically. If you're into that stuff, definitely consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to talk about something that I have made a decision on when it comes to cameras. And over here, I'm going to talk with my Canon EOS R5 Mark II. Now I've had RF cameras since the original Canon R5, and now I got the R5 Mark II. So since 2020, and now this is 2024, I've got the R5 Mark II, but I'm using it with an EF 35 millimeter F 2.0 lens. And that's kind of the thing. Do you really need RF glass if you mostly have EF glass. And I'm gonna tell you, my experiences with EF glass on the RF lineup has been nothing short of spectacular. Now, all of the modes do work when it comes to the new features in the RF cameras, such as the R5 or the R5 Mark II, the R6 Mark II. All of those features do work very well with the EF glasses. And that's because the RF to EF adapters actually do a great job since they're designed by Canon specifically, the ones that I use, of translating to the EF class and making sure that everything works just fine. Now, a lot of the reason why I do that is because, and this will apply to anyone who uses EF glasses or different cameras, is the fact that EF, though it's limited in support right now because Canon is moving everything to RF, EF glass in itself is so adaptable to many mirrorless cameras. So let me explain. When it comes to EF lenses, EF lenses are designed for DSLRs. Now DSLRs have a sensor that has a mirror in front of it, and that mirror requires space. And then you have the lens in front of it. But when it comes to mirrorless cameras, they don't require that mirror. So there's an extra bit of space that the lenses are designed to account for in order to hit the sensor. Now these adapters provide that space that normally would have been for the mirror to be able to focus correctly on these new bodies. And a lot of different manufacturers, not just Canon, will use EF lenses because they have, even though they're mirrorless, they have the ability to mount different type of adapters to them so that they can work. I'll give you an example right now. Right now I'm using the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame, which is, now all of you have heard of the Pixis. Pixis is like that box new camera from Blackmagic. Well, you can consider the 6K full frame the Pixis's cousin. They both have the same sensor, just different bodies. So this applies to the Pixis as well. You can attach an ES lens as long as you have an L to EF adapter, which is what I have on this camera right now. So I'm using a Canon 24 to 70 millimeter lens on this camera and it works great. Autofocus works as well, though it's all limited on the Blackmagic cameras. It still works and it works just fine. In the other room, I have a GH5. That's a Lumix camera, Panasonic Lumix. I have a Metabone speed booster on it which allows more light to be gathered by that micro four thirds sensor and that meta boot speed booster adapts to EF glasses. Autofocus works. Though on that camera, the autofocus is a little bit, eh, I don't know what to say about it, but it still works. Then I have old Samsung NX1 cameras. And in those Samsung NX1 cameras, I remember seeing advertisements on the fact that you can use EF lenses on that camera. And although the NX to EF adapter I have doesn't allow you to pass over any electronics, it's just kind of like a dead adapter, you can still use EF glass on that camera. And that's what I'm saying. EF glass has been one of the best investments that I've made when it comes to lenses because it allows me to use all of my cameras and get great results. Now, the best results that you'll ever get, of course, I have an RF camera, I might as well get an RF lens. And I do have RF lenses. I got the 50 millimeter F1.8, the Nifty 50. I've got the 16 millimeter F2.8 lens on it. Really small lenses, RF. I have a Rokinon F1.4, 85 millimeter lens that has autofocus. This was before Canon 
send out that like kind of cease and desist for any manufacturer that's third party to design lenses. But I still, I got it right before it happened. I was able to buy that right on time. And that's my point. Like I still don't shy away from RF class because now that I've got the R5 Mark II, the original R5 and the R6, I'm expanding my lineup when it comes to cameras that can use the RF lenses. And RF lenses are really fast, they're really quiet and really nifty to use. So I do like that, but that doesn't mean you should shy away from EF lenses. And the fact that they work with so many of my cameras and I have different cameras, I'm never going to feel like I need to buy L-mounted lens or a Micro Four Thirds lens. Not at all, or a Samsung NX lens. Though I do have some Samsung lenses as well. It's, it's not necessary. So if your question is, can I stick with EF when I buy an RF camera? The answer is absolutely. And one of the advantages that you don't get with the EF lenses when converting to RF is that you have the ability to stick ND filters or other filters in between, not in the front, but in between the camera and the lens. So here I've got a clear filter, but I also have an ND filter, but I use the clear filter when I don't need any ND, but I stick it right in the actual adapter, goes right in, and if it was an ND, and Canon sells a variable ND filter, you can actually adjust ND right here while taking video or taking those long exposure uh, pictures when you're outside during the day, as an example. And that is a great advantage that you wouldn't normally get using an RF lens. Now, one thing is I wish that they would actually design an RF lens that has a built-in ND already in it. Why not make that happen? That should be easy, right? In between all the glass, just put in an, an ND filter and sell that. Jack up the price. I don't know. Just an idea that happened to have. Anyway, that's just me talking. EF lenses, I definitely recommend them, not only for Canon cameras, but for many different types of cameras. And you do not have to upgrade your lenses right away. But I do recommend that over time, especially with the features that new lenses have, that you consider adapting. But no rush. You can get that camera and keep your lenses. That's all I got to say. Let me know if you agree with me or if you don't. Always curious about that. And like I said, I'm really working this channel on my own and I hope for your support. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. But as always, you can make my day if you subscribe today. It's Magnus. I'm out. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.